I'm totally down for a Star Wars pack. I think it could be totally game changing for The Sims. And today I'm gonna talk about how it should work, if it is a Star Wars pack. My big idea for this pack is good versus evil, or in Star Wars terms, light side versus dark side. Let's talk about my occult mechanics idea. Jedis could be a new occult, and when making your Jedi, you can't really decide on the dark or the light side. Throughout gameplay, you could build up light and dark actions that sway the force in one way or another. Maybe you could get annoying visits from the masters of each side who try to convince you one way or another. And we know The Sims is good at annoying visits. The dark versus light could be the main theme of the pack, choosing which side and fighting for control of the two. So for the world, of course, we would need a new one. My idea for this is it's not a normal world or a vacation world. When you move in, there could be a new option at the top, and there you would find Batu. And I'm saying Batu only because that is based on the limited speculation that we have on this pack. All the NPCs and townies would be exclusive to that world. You would not see them in Brindleton Bay or Willow Creek, and vice versa, you would not see Eliza Pancakes on Batu. So this world also plays into my dark versus light side gameplay idea. The world could have a system similar to the eco footprint where the actions you choose have an effect on Batu and which side has more control. Even like eco lifestyle, perhaps the way it looks could change a little bit. Like maybe it could look a little darker and more seedy for the dark side. Of course, you could choose neither side and be kind of like a rogue Jedi who doesn't follow anybody's rules, which brings us to careers. A great idea I've seen is Jedi as a career. Yes, I love this. I don't think this would make a good active career, but it could be kind of like the scientist career in a way where depending on the decisions you make, you can choose the Jedi Order path or the Sith. But there needs to be another option. What if you don't want to be a Jedi? And that brings me to the smuggler career. This would be a freelance kind of career. Similar to the maker career, you could check for gigs on your phone, but rather than emailing your clients and doing all of that annoying shit, you have to meet them in person. It would show up on your calendar, kind of like acting jobs do. It would say meet, and then the name of Sim, at Oga's Cantina at 12 p.m. on Saturday, just for an example. So your Sim has to physically travel to that lot at the right time and meet that Sim have the necessary conversations, and then you move on to the last step, getting on your ship and going to complete the job. But how would ships work? Don't worry, I have an idea for that too. This one is actually pretty easy and so obvious, I'd be genuinely surprised if it wasn't included in the pack. It would be like building a rocket ship, except for it's more like Star Wars-y. There could be three levels of ships, a cheaper one with a lower handiness skill requirement, an in-between, and the best of the best. So they would also be cheaper, kind of middle range price, and a little more expensive. You would do everything you already do for building a rocket ship. It will just look more like a Star Wars ship. There could be swatches when you purchase the ship, kind of the way that rocket ships are now, or it could be like servos where after you're done building them, you can choose colors and kind of make more customization that way. And yes, having your own ship would be a requirement to be a smuggler. It's just more in depth that way. And you could also make a ship, of course, without being a smuggler. It wouldn't be like a locked career item. Okay, two small things that I'm done. Obviously we would need some Star Wars looking clothing, but I would also like some crazy genetic options. It doesn't have to be like a new occult, but there are so many unique Star Wars characters. So some extras would be cool. And finally, for this pack, we would need three new aspirations. I bet you can't guess what they are. A Sith aspiration, a Jedi, and a smuggler aspiration. These could be like guides on how to do things in the beginning, and then add a little bit of challenge towards the end, because let's be real, some aspirations just need to be a little bit harder. Those are my grand ideas for the Star Wars pack. Obviously I know it's not confirmed, as well as I know that if it is a Star Wars pack, it's probably not gonna be like this, it's gonna be very different. But I hope this maybe provided a little bit of hope to Simmers and Star Wars fans that this could be a good pack if done right. Or, you know, 
maybe I severely frustrated you. Either way, don't let anyone kill your vibes if you are excited for this pack. And thank you for watching. I'm genuinely really proud of this video and really hope that like more than five people see it. But that's out of my control and I had a fun time making it anyway. I'm Clever Hans and I guess that's it.